Yeah, so my message to all my Muslim sisters, wherever you are in the world, you know, is dear sisters, first of all, I advise every one of you to take out your Quran and read the verses that Allah Taala has given us in Surah Al-Ankabut about how all of us will be tested. Don't take your faith for granted. Realize that we will be tested and realize that this is something that happened to those who came before us. Think about the Sahabiyya, think about the female companions, the suffering that they went through in the time of Mecca when they were persecuted for their faith. You know, Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Al-Ankabut, Do people think that they'll be left to say, Amanna, that we believe, they won't be tested for their, to see the sincerity of their faith? وَلَقَدْ فَتَنَّ الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبَلِهِمْ فَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ صَدَقُوا وَلَا يَعْلَمَنَّ الْكَاذِبِينَ Those who came before you were also tested and through that Allah sees who the others sincere and who, who are the ones that, you know, they don't stand firm in their faith. And also, sisters, if you go to Surah Al-Anfal, verse 45, Allah tells us how to deal with these situations when you're having hostility being projected against you. He says, Ya ayyuhalladina amanu, ida laqeetum fi'atan, fathbutu, wadhkurullaha kathiru al-allakum tuflihun. When you're faced with people being hostile against you, he says, fathbutu, stand firm against that hostility. Wadhkurullaha kathiru al-allakum tuflihun. Remember Allah as much as you can in order to be successful. You need to be stuck to the Quran, dear sisters. You need to be stuck to your adhkar and your du'as of the morning and the evenings. And then in the next verses, he tells us, verse 46, he tells us, وَأَطِيعُوا اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا And obey Allah and His Messenger. وَلَا تَنَازَعُوا فَتَفْشَلُوا Be stuck to your sisters. Be stuck to your community. If you don't do that and you disunite, فَتَفْشَلُوا وَتَذْهَبَ رِيحُكُمْ You will lose your strength and you'll become weak. And then Allah finishes these verses by saying, وَاسْبِرُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ That when you are patient for the sake of Allah, you remain steadfast upon the straight path. You know, you stand firm in the face of all of these pressures upon you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be with you. He'll find ways for you to get through and to find ways, you know, inshallah, to open his doors of rizq and provision for you, even if you fear that for your families, inshallah. May Allah make it easy for all of us. Always ask Allah in your dua, Ya maqalib al qulub, thabbit qalbi ala dinik. O oh Allah, turn of the hearts, make my heart firm upon your religion. We need to constantly ask Allah to help us to remain steadfast, dear sisters. Nobody guarantees that we will die upon Islam, but we have to constantly ask Allah to give us husn al khatima, to give us the good ending that we meet with Allah, with La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. May Allah keep us all steadfast and firm upon His path until we meet with Him, insha'Allah. Wa aqulu qawli hada wa astaghfirullah wa li wa lakum wa subhanakallum yihamdik. Ashra wa la ilaha illa ant astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.